Luke 5, 12 through 28. In one of the villages, Jesus met a man with an advanced case of leprosy. When the man saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground, begged to be healed. Lord, he said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus instructed him not to tell anybody what had happened. He said, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offering required by the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be your public testimony that you have been cleansed. But despite Jesus' instructions, the report of his power spread even faster, and vast crowds came to hear him preach and to be healed of their disease. But Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. One day while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of the religious law were sitting nearby. It seemed that these men showed up from every village in all of Galilee and Judah, as well as from Jerusalem. And the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. Some men were carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. They tried to take him inside to see Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because of the crowd. So they went up to the roof and took off some of the tiles. Then they lowered the sick man on his mat down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, Young man, your sins are forgiven. But the Pharisees and the teachers of religious law said to themselves, Who does he think he is? That's blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking. So he asked them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Is it too easy to say your sins are forgiven or stand up and walk? So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. And immediately, as everybody watched, the man jumped up, picked up his mat, and went home, praising God. Everyone was gripped with great wonder and awe, and they came, Praise God, exclaiming, We have seen amazing things today. Later, as Jesus left the town, he saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at his tax collector booth. Follow me and my disciples, Jesus said to him. So Levi got up, left everything, and followed him.